If you have a son or daughter between the ages of about 4 and 8 and you want to know what kind of bike to get, what kind of gear you need and how much it's going to cost to get them started in off-road motorbikes, then watch the rest of this video where I'll be doing it with my son, Christopher. Yeah! We use a Yamaha PW50 for Christopher. These are a bike that's been around since the 80s, so parts are really cheap and easy to come by. They use a 50cc two-stroke engine that I mix at 150 milliliters of two-stroke to five liters of petrol. And they also have a shaft drive for that extra bit of safety for Christopher so that if he falls off, he doesn't get his hand caught up in a chain. They also have an adjustable throttle position, which is adjusted through this screw here. So you screw it in so that there's less movement on the throttle and you screw it out so that there's more movement on the throttle, as Christopher shows here, with it screwed in and with it screwed out. We're ready to go! But no, don't. You need your gear as well so that this doesn't happen. Christopher's goggles were brand new from the 100% brand and cost just 30 euro. He also has knee guards from Fox and again these are 30 euro and offer good protection from the top of the kneecap all the way down along the shin to try and give as much protection as we can for our children. This is last year answer gear that we got at a discounted rate of 60 euro for the pants and jersey. It's important to get the right protective gears. The jersey is airy to keep your child cool on a hot day but the pants are rugged and durable in the case of a fall. These are a pair of second-hand Wolf Sport boots that we bought and again we got these boots for around 50 euro. So if you keep an eye out you can get some really good second-hand stuff from kids who have used it before but it's still well worth having. This is a Liat brace and this is something again that we bought second-hand and I'm really happy we did. It came in around 120 euro I think for the second-hand garment but you can see it offers a lot of protection and we'll go through that a bit further. The helmet we did buy brand new. This is a Fox V1 helmet that we got for around 138 euro I think it was. Again it offers the same protection as what you can have in an adult helmet. And finally we finish off with our gloves. These gloves were from Alpine Stars again brand new that we got them for 20 euro. But as you can see if you keep your eye out you can get a lot of second hand stuff that's in good decent condition very usable for nearly half the price. Again here, let's just take a look around at the gear that Christopher is wearing. I really like this Liat uh, brace. It's got the neck brace built in. I have another video on why I think neck braces are good. I can leave a link down below. And again, it offers good protection in around the side, in around the kidneys in the event of a fall, and on the back as well. You want to keep your child as protected as you can. So the total we spent on our gear then was 450 euros. And you can buy these PW50 secondhand from anywhere for about 500 to 1200 euros. Okay, so that's it for today's video. We really hope you enjoyed it and you could see how it's not too expensive and pretty simple to get your child started into motocross and off-road bike riding. Join us in the next part of this video series where we're going to go through the techniques needed to start your child, like my son Christopher here, off safely on one of these bikes so that they're not afraid of it and they've got the right skills to control the bike and not get into any trouble. We'll catch up with you in the next video soon. Moto Click is an electronic device used to automate suspension setup for off-road motorbikes. It does this by using a retrofitable electronic system that's attached to the bike to measure suspension movement both front and rear as well as satellite position. This information is then sent to you in the smartphone on your suspension's performance and you can use this then to adjust the suspension clickers for the current track conditions and your riding style. MotoClick also has any location lap timing made possible through the satellite data that's gathered through the app. If you want your own MotoClick, then be sure to subscribe to the MotoClick email newsletter at motoklik.com.